Exactly. You've got a baby segment coming up, which is kind of appropriate, I would say. <laughs> I, uh, I love this one, yes, and I've been, I've been excited about this one. When I uh, was feeling a little bit weird last night, thinking, oh no, am I going to make it into work? I was like, I've got to get there. We're doing baby wearing today, and I've been itching to find out all about this. So <laughs> I'm going to take it away right now and, uh, and find out what baby wearing is all about. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. Well, yes, it's a, it's a term that's being tossed around a little bit now, and uh, for those of you that don't know what it is, we have our, you've been on the show before, our doula <laughs> slash child, uh, childbirthing expert, Noreen Fair. Thank you so much for coming Thanks back. Thanks for having us again. And, uh, and baby wearing, yes, that's a term that might need a bit of an explanation. Baby wearing is just the concept of rather than just holding your babies, which is fine, or pushing them in strollers, you have a variety of different contraptions that, that you wear them on your body and it, it becomes, some of them are really like fashion statements, but it also keeps your baby nice and close to you. And uh, I should also point out that Asher is, uh, is behind you there. <laughs> and, and so this is what, what baby wearing is all mm -hmm. about, putting it in a, in a sling or a wrap. What yeah. are some of the benefits to this? It keeps your baby close, uh, especially when they're brand new. I mean, they're used to being inside and hearing your heartbeat and being moved all the time. So by having them, you know, again, close to you, especially in a front carry, a sling, or something that keeps them, again, they can hear your heart beating, feel your warmth, and your movement as you do your day-to-day -day activities. And so it, it's like they haven't even been born. It's, it keeps them nice and cozy where they are. And it keeps the mom's hands free, which is a huge benefit when you've got a toddler or a small child or an infant at home so you can still go about doing your daily tasks. Yeah. Now, I, I should mention that it's not just moms that benefit from this oh, because absolutely not. dads are getting into the baby wearing as absolutely, well. Absolutely, yeah. And so these are, um, you know, some of mine are kind of girly, but you can get more gender neutral or even really masculine ones too, depending on who it is that's looking for the carrier. There you go. Now, yeah. before we talk a little bit about these, I just want to bring you around front mm -hmm. here so that we can kind of see what it is, that, the whole contraption here that you've this got This one's just on. a long piece of fabric that you can tie different ways. And so he's tied, it's called a rexat, and he's tied on my back. Okay. Goes around my shoulders and around my waist. So he, it's kind of like a piggyback, but it feels really weightless on, on me. And I have my hands free. I've got five children, so I can hold on to some other ones or carry my bag or whatever it is and I can have him hands free on my back. Now are there any security issues in this? I mean some people might be thinking it's just a piece of fabric. Mm -hmm. You know you've got a, a I'm not sure how heavy a baby is. He's about 25 pounds okay. and, and there's certainly techniques to it that that you take a little bit of time to learn sometimes but the way he's tied on it's under his bum and it crisscrosses underneath and over both legs so he's in kind of an X as well as underneath his bum, so there's virtually no way he can fall out. Okay, let's uh, let's chat a little bit about some of the different styles that are out there. This would be the wrap style. This is a wrap style. This is another kind of wrap. There's a million different kinds and fabrics and you know all that kind of stuff that can be tied on the front and on the side and on the back. Um, this is a, a kind of a Maytai carrier, an Asian-inspired carrier, and it, this is called a baby hawk. But this one you would put on like this and tie the straps around your waist and around okay. your back, and this can be worn on your front or on your back. And, um, and then these are two different kinds of slings. This is a ring sling, so this one has um, rings, so you can adjust it so it can fit, you know, especially if, if you're uh, having a mom and a dad that want to wear the same carrier. Having something like a ring sling that is adjustable to different sizes is really great. These are certainly um, all adjustable as well. And this is a pouch sling. So this one doesn't have any rings or gadgets, and it's, you know, one size for each person. So you find the right size, and stick a baby in there. So okay. Yeah. And uh, just in case anyone has any questions about credentials, you also teach classes on uh, child uh, childbearing and, and birthing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, mother to mother. Your website. Mm -hmm. People can, can get a hold of you and ask you any questions yeah. that you have. And we have a baby wearing group in Winnipeg, and so some of us are you know, coming with a fashion show later. And uh, we do meetings about once a month where people can come and try out any different kinds of carriers. We can help them get their babies in, help them learn how, how it works. They can experiment with things before buying them. So that's a really great option, too. And